He may be a Hollywood superstar, but who Jackman says he could not believe his latest leading role was written specifically for him. She told me that when we first met that she wrote the part for me. I didn't believe it. I mean, it sounded like just one of those things. People, I was, I was like, oh, in my head, I was like, oh, Brad Pitt turned down the part, right? Um, but then she really made me believe it. Actually, I think she did. And it was what I loved about it was she wrote this before Westworld. It sat in her drawer. She thought one day, if I, if if Westworld or something like that is a success, then I'll make it. So to be in her first feature film that she'd actually written before or anything else. Uh, it's a great, it's a great honour. It's a great thrill, you know. The Australian actor said as he joined his co-stars Rebecca Ferguson and Thandive Newton and the film's writer and director Lisa Joy for a socially distanced blue carpet premiere of science fiction thriller Reminiscence in London, set in war-torn and flood-water-covered Miami of the future. Reminiscence. Stars Jackman as hardened veteran Nick Barrister, who together with his business partner Bartz, offers a service that allows people to relive their memories. Unexpectedly, Barrister falls in love with a mysterious client, Mai, with a violent past. When she suddenly disappears, Barrister sets out to discover who the object of his desire really is. Joy, who together with her husband Jonathan Nolan created the HBO series Westworld, makes her feature film debut with Reminiscence. The filmmaker said she wrote the script as she prepared for the arrival of her first child while mourning the loss of her grandfather. Uh, it's it's so wonderful, and I like to think in some respects that I co-wrote it because I was pregnant at the time, and I had a little baby in my tummy who she takes credit now, she's seven, of having given me the inspiration from it, from within. Um, but uh, it, was, it was a magical thing and it's incredibly magical to be able to see it brought to life. In the movie, set in near future, Miami is protected from the rising sea with leaking walls. People have become nocturnal to escape the heat of the day. The world, I think the world is, is phenomenal. I think Lisa has created a very time correct idea of where the world is going, whether or not we become nocturnal or not. It's a very fascinating philosophical thought. Um, what would happen with us if we flip things around? Night creatures. I haven't felt like this before. First of all, it's a blue carpet, which whatever. And I think that's very significant because the movie is all about global warming, rising sea levels, Miami is submerged in water, and it makes for a really amazing looking movie, but it's also scary. But Joy said she did not want the movie to be all doom and gloom either. You know, the world, I think, is full of beauty and also full of some difficult things that we have to embrace. Uh, like climate change and like rising waters. Uh, but this film attempts to create a portrait of the future that acknowledges the difficulties we might face, but also acknowledges hope that exists for us to band together and create the kind of world that we'd like to live in. Asked what memories they would personally like to revisit, both of the lead actors thought of children and childhood. But in my personal life, I want, I'd love to hold my babies again. I'd like to pick them up, you know, from their car seat when they're asleep, into bed, put, putting them on their pajamas without waking them up, all that sort of thing. I, I, I miss those days. What I go back to is childhood, non-consequential, you know, euphoric happiness that we kind of miss when we grow up, the kind of excitement when someone chases you. Um, the climbing a tree, the, the tickles, the butterflies, your birthday, the night before. Ferguson last week shared a tender photo on Instagram of herself and actor Tom Cruise, marking the end of filming for her on Mission Impossible 7. It was great. I mean, that seven 
there's an eight coming. It just I love wrapping any film. Um, we were on set and I said, Oi, Tommy boy, come here. I want a picture. Chris, take it. And we posed for a picture and it was fun. But um, it's human. It's real. It's what we do. I've done it for six years with him now. Um, you know, more to come. Reminiscence will be released globally from August 18, hitting cinemas in the United States and the UK on August 20.